Hi guys, this is Deb and I'm one of the coaches for the Pick 3 for 3 for May. And welcome to day, uh, day 14. Oh my gosh, already. So today I want to talk a little bit about mindset. And I think it's so important whenever we are trying to make any changes in our life that we really commit to a mindset. So I'm hoping that you guys are loving every minute of this month's Pick 3 for 3. Um, it's an amazing program. You kind of get to design your own lifestyle. You get to pick the three things that you're committed to for 21 days. It's a, it's a pretty cool program, right? So mindset, what does that mean? Did you know that 90% of a commit, any commitment we have, 90% is in your mind. It's your mindset. The other 10% is mechanics. So as long as you can get your mind set on the path to meet your goals, you guys are headed in the right direction. And then all you have to do is just start doing the mechanics behind it. So um, when Greg and I started this journey, we started two years ago in February, and it um, we just decided from day one that it's what we wanted to do. That doesn't mean it's been easy every day. That doesn't mean that there aren't some days when we really want to just have the biggest DiGiorno's pizza, rising crust, or whatever. But as long as your mindset is there and you are committed to your journey, you will be successful. So how do you get yourself there? Um, you can reach out to any one of the coaches. Just say, hey, I'm having a bad day or I'm really struggling today. What do I do? How do I... How do I keep um, keep up my journey without really setting myself back? You can do personal development. I mean, personal development is amazing. There's so much information out there. I am keto, so I would go out and Google keto information. And I would look for um, if there's something you're craving, maybe. You're really hungry for something. Or you are um, missing something. Just go out and Google it. There are millions of recipes out there. There really are. And the cool thing is that there are all kinds of keto crates. There are all kinds of keto boxes that you can order just to try to get yourself back on track again and to keep yourself on the right path, right? So um, Greg and I are snackers. We like to snack. Even if I drink a pro in the afternoon or whatever, or even in the morning and then skip, skip breakfast, I am a snacker and I think that that's just that's my habit that I need to break but I do look for healthy snacks and I like to have those on hand for those days when it's just I, I gotta have one right and so that's where um, like recently we got the keto crate in and lots of cool things in there some things I would never buy but some things I would there were some really great options so it's really getting your mindset wrap your head around the fact that you can do this. Um, it's putting one foot in front of the other. It's just really stepping into it and saying, um, what I do today makes me a better person tomorrow. And you know, a lot of times we do things um, and maybe it doesn't affect you right away. So let's look at it from a negative aspect, right? Let's say that you um, decide you're going to have a cheat day and you didn't see any effects from it. The scale didn't move, your clothes still fit, so you're like, oh, that was easy. So then you have another cheat day, and then you have another cheat day, <laughs> and pretty soon those will compound. But we can do that positively too. So if you're, if you're having a tough time, or if you're really fighting with yourself, um, pick something, reward yourself. Say, okay, if I go today and I stay I track my macros, I stay on track, or whatever it is you're doing, your commitments, you've committed, um, you've committed to three things. I want you to drop in the chat, by the way, what your three things are, and make sure that you are letting us know um, what those commitments are so that we can cheer you on and help you celebrate when you meet them. But that's what you do. You just pick the three things you're going to commit to, and then when you meet them at the end of the day, how fun is it? to fill out the Prove It Every Day app and see all the confetti start popping all over. How fun is that, that you get to post that in the group to show 
your celebration. And we'll all celebrate with you because we love to see that. I love to see it for myself. I can't wait to go in there at night and finish out my day and then I see the confetti pop and it's like, yay, I did it. Um, so think about those things. Remember, you can reach out to any one of us coaches. Just your mindset is really, it's mind over matter. It truly is. It's a matter. I mean, it's just setting your mind on something and then pushing forward through it. That doesn't mean, like I said, you're not going to have days when you don't struggle. You certainly will. But that's when you reach out, you ask for support. That's what this group is for. And we are here to help you. And that's really what we want to do. We feel amazing. We want you to feel amazing. And we want you to pass it on to other people and just kind of keep sharing it. Because um, that's what it is. It's a movement, right? We want to keep helping people feel better and find them their better a better version of themselves so that we can, um, I mean, I'm in my 60s and I don't feel like I am. I feel like I am healthier now than I was, you know, several years ago. And that's what I want for everybody else. So just reach out, make sure, remember, it's 90% mindset and 10% mechanics. When you have your head in the right space, then the rest of it falls into place. So don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to ask us for help. We are here and we love you guys. Take care.